Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today I'm out here in the Colonia region, a very nice area of space and I thought we'd check out this region because the new shipyards were introduced out here yesterday. Now there is a really interesting backstory to Colonia and we get to that in just a bit, especially for your new players to the game who wouldn't have been here during the time that this region was established. Now this is the cursed system and what we're looking at here is Foster Terminal. It's a mega ship and it's placed right inside a ring system, an ice ring system at that, and it makes it a spectacular looking area. Now you can of course dock with this mega ship and it does have a shipyard as well as an outfitting screen and it offers all sorts of missions and other things. So what we're seeing right here I hope is a dry run of what will happen with squadrons and mega ships. It'd be great to be able to place mega ships right inside those ring systems when it comes to mining now wouldn't it? So, uh, Colonia, what's it all about? Well, uh, let's jump to the galaxy map and have a look. Colonia is a lot closer to the galaxy core than where we are in the main inhabited bubble. The main inhabited bubble, of course, centers around Sol and Earth. So we can see here, this is 22,000 light years away, so a significant distance. And that may bring up a certain question for many of you, just how did humanity get established out that way? Well, to answer that question, we've got to go back to 2016. This is some footage from that period, and it was taken during the community goal for Jack Station. Now, Jack Station has a very special place in Elite Dangerous lore, and is run no less by a cyborg. The station is famous because it's a travelling station, it has its own FSD drive, and is capable of jumping significant distances. Now, at this point in time, it was determined, or decided rather, that Jax was going to jump to the other side of the galaxy, all the way to Beagle Point, 60,000 light years away. So a story soon emerged around this particular event, requiring the involvement of the players to help out. Now this took the form of a community goal and meant that players had to deliver commodities to Jack Station. A huge number of players actually got involved with this and very soon the goals were complete, the objective reached and the station was about to make its jump. However, not all was well and things didn't go as planned. Unfortunately, another group of players had UA bombed the station, meaning that they delivered Thargoid technology there, causing technological issues with the station, and therefore the jump malfunctioned as it was en route to Beagle Point. The station therefore become lost for about a month and no one knew where it was. That is, until Commander Sly accidentally chanced upon it whilst looking for inhabited systems out here 22,000 light years away from home. In terms of the game, this happened far earlier than Frontier actually intended it to happen. It was an accidental find, but Frontier did roll with it, and very soon the player base started making their way out towards this area. Now this actually represented something very interesting, because it was the first time a space station had been so far away from the inhabited bubble. For quite a while, the Jack station stayed out here on its own, but eventually new stations and new starports were constructed, and it wasn't very long before huge numbers of player groups started making this area of space their home. Now, two years later, there's huge numbers of space stations, outposts and planetary ports here, and many of the systems have actually been renamed. The same goes for Colonia itself. Originally, it was just called Jack Space after the name of the station, but eventually the player base settled on the name Colonia, in no small part due to the original pioneers that came out this way. Eventually then, the whole scenario led to a second area of inhabited space. There's also a third area, somewhat smaller, around the California Nebula. So if you've ever wondered whether or not it's worth coming out this way, then the answer to that is pretty much yes, but there are a few limitations. One of those limitations is the fact that there's not a huge selection of shipyards out here and therefore not a huge lot of ships. At least that was so up until this week and Frontier have recently added a whole bunch of new shipyards this way and most of those can be found down on planetary surface ports. After some initial inspections it seems you can get just about any ship out here now. The other limitation is modules. There is quite a good selection but you probably won't be able to A rate a ship out here. The highest rated modules seem to be B class. And of course, there's no engineers out here, but if you do pins and recipes, then you're about to use them out this way in the remote workshop, so at least there's that. Now, the biggest attraction for me out here is of course just how beautiful the place looks. Colonia itself is set right next door to a nebula, and many of the inhabited systems are right inside the nebula. And if you're an explorer, then you're absolutely going to love this place. It's very close to the Galactic Core and Sagittarius A. And in addition to the Colonia Nebula itself, there's many other nebulae very nearby. 
And of course, if you're an explorer, then one thing you would not have failed to have noticed is the sheer density of the star field. It means that there's plenty of undiscovered systems out here. And right below Colonia is a massive neutron star field, and this is perfect if you want to rapidly raise your elite exploration ranking. So really, the only hurdle to coming out this way is the massive journey to get here. And if you're prepared to put up with a few limitations, then you'll probably have quite a nice time out here. But don't forget, if you do want to transfer a few ships, then it's going to get very expensive very, very fast. So there we have it then, a quick look at Colonia. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.